All right, so for this video, I kind of want to document and do like an inventory check and where my tools are, my tool backpack is for this season in my life, in my career. So right now, uh, background, I'm a controls engineer that uh, specializes in robotics. Um, so I mainly work with ABB and Fanuc robots. Um, but now I'm starting to work into PLC coding and all that stuff. Um, so this is my work backpack. It's a tough built laptop tool backpack and I just want to inventory what's in there kind of show you what everything I'm working with not really in depth with every single piece um, but just kind of want to do a rundown of what I have um, and what I'm working with and then I'll do videos later on of each all the pieces and stuff like that uh, but this one's just kind of going through what all I carry with me every day so this is my daily bag I take with me in the office and then also into the plant floors uh, mainly work in automotive manufacturing, automation stuff. Um, so I wear this going into you know multiple different types of plants um, and working with that stuff. Um, so we'll start off on the side pocket here. So this one I have my trackball mouse. Uh, this is a Kingsington mouse. I got stress ball. It's a racket ball. So I just use this while I'm waiting for doing the hurry up and wait thing. So waiting for the customer to either bring equipment or stuff to test. Um, I got a face mask if need be. Um, not really use this anymore after COVID stuff winds down, but it's there if I need it. Uh, so keep this stuff out. Um, on the outside here, I don't really carry tape. I don't like things flop around as much on the outside here, but I do have a little Milwaukee tape measure here. It's got inches and millimeters or metric in here too. So that's really nice. Um, this on the outside, this is my ID badge again, my office building. I just carry that outside and it's a long range one so I can just walk by the receiver and uh, get scanned in. So on this outside one, I normally stuff paperwork in here if I need something and then I have my work phone here. So I carry two phones. I got my personal one and my work one. I keep it on here, volumes all the way up. So he lives in there. I'll keep that guy there. On this outer pocket, I keep uh, any stuff, so I got Mio's Energy, we need caffeine on the go, hydration packets, got a whole bunch of those in there. I got my lock, I use for locking out equipment, you know, once you power it down or you're working on equipment, you got to lock out, tag out. That's what that's for, more hydration stuff. I got phone stand, so I can prop this up, I got, I'm using my phone. Or if I'm listening to music and I work with it, I can put it off to the side and prop it up, and it works pretty good too. But got a phone stand, got wet wipes because in the factory they use tissue paper for toilet paper, so it's nice having something for your booty hole. Got some gum. Let's see what else I got in here. Got double A batteries in case I need something like that. Uh, side shields for my glasses. If I need, if I, if I can use those. Otherwise, I got safety glasses. That I'll just carry in by hand with me. Um, so that's pretty much everything that's in that pocket. On uh, my right side, I have standard water bottle. Um, got a Milwaukee Fastback. Uh, this came in a kit of two, and then this is the one without uh, the tool bit and all that stuff on there. I carry the actual other one on my person all the time, so I got this guy on my pocket. This is more of a backup one, um, or a sacrificial one, so if I need to cut something that's going to wreck blades, or I don't really care about it as much, I use this one, but he just lives here on the um, elastic. So we got him there. I got paint markers, so a lot of times if you're working on a motive, you break apart or you, you weld apart wrong, you'll paint it and mark it bad, so that way it doesn't go to... Uh, be used or you know in circulation so you paint it red mark that it's a bad part and I got a red pen here um, in the laptop packet I have get come out. Dell precision laptop this was a work issued one so that's what I get to use then I have an external monitor so this guy is a Lenovo L15 monitor that's what he looks like and then he's got a stand and then you can plug on plug in a USB-C on each either side um, and you only need one 
uh, that does power in the video to it. So that works out pretty good. Put it back in there. So I'll lose everything. And also stuff some paperwork in here too if I need to keep it safe. Alright, so now we're getting into the goodies. Here's the money shot, baby. Boom. Alright, so in here I have my communication cables. Um, just super basic stuff in here. So I got a couple Ethernet cables, a couple uh, USB C to Ethernet dongles. It helps when you're working with uh, virtual machines and IP addresses and stuff on your laptop. Uh, I got a sick scanner cable for programming that. A couple adapters to go from RJ45 to M12 Ethernet. Coded stuff. Uh, I got some serial comms cable on the bottom there. I uh, don't really use that much, but it's there if I need it. So that lives in the tough belt uh, container there. Uh, trail mix. So that way, if I have to work through lunch, uh, I got something that doesn't need to be refrigerated. It's got some high protein in there to keep you going while you're working. Uh, laptop charger there. I use a Craftsman. Uh, 20, or 20 volt um, inverter so this is if I need power and I don't have an outlet near me I can get a couple more hours on my laptop so I use that guy there uh, inside I got uh, what is this C-Jet tool shears this is good if you gotta cut any cables um, any big cables um, you gotta strip something this is handy and then you got a crimper built in there too but if you're cutting anything like electrical tape or Velcro or anything like that, this is awesome. Got a locking cable in there. Milwaukee ratchet screwdriver. This is pretty convenient. Works pretty well. Got quite a few years of use out of this guy. Kalinus tool uh, magnetic lamp. So this guy you can go into a control cabinet, stick it up top and aim where you, you know you need your work in so your hands free. Um, I tried using a headlamp, but that just gets cumbersome, and it's pretty awkward when you're trying to work with people face-to-face, -face, and then you're wearing a headlamp aiming right in their face. It's just a lot nicer. You're going to stick it in either on the top or on the side or on the door, whatever you need to. Then it also pluses as a, a power output, so you can charge like your phone or something in an emergency. That lives there. I got Fisker's... Uh, Breakaway utility knife. This works awesome. So as you use these, you can snap them off. Uh, this is really good if you need to get a deep cut on something. You can lock it out. But I normally just use as a box cutter, or you're opening packages, or you're cutting into some material. Uh, I got a Siemens flathead screwdriver. This is awesome. This was given to me um, in a training class with Siemens, and then this works really good on terminals. So you get in there. Normally they're flathead terminals. Use that. Use this cobalt uh, switching pliers. Um, just kind of play around with this guy. The only thing I don't like about him right now is he doesn't open wide. And then when you come back to your, around, you actually bottom out before you close the jaws all the way. So you, you can't grab something small. So I'm not really a big fan of these. Just kind of playing around with it. Um, I'll eventually find something that I like more and replace it later. But this is here if I need it. Uh, Craftsman side cutters. Use these for cutting zip ties in, in cabinets. Um, you need to trace a wire or get a wire out and replace it. Go through and cut the zip ties and get the wires out. Uh, Cobalt Allen key set. Uh, multi one, so it's got a whole bunch of them on here. These are all metric, and that's normally what I come across is metric Allens. Uh, so this works pretty well. Got some Velcro strips for cable ties, so when you cut those zip ties, you can go back and put Velcro. I like Velcro better. More little notebook if I need to take some notes for later on. Uh, let's see. Let get this come out again. And I got the Vera Tool Check Plus. Um, this is a metric one. Works awesome. You can do so much with this little kit right here, so I highly recommend this guy if you're just getting started in it. Little um, adjustable wrench. Mainly use this for breaking the nut free on prox switches. Uh, so you run that a lot too, where the prox is too far away from sensing whatever it needs to, if it's a flag or a part. 
Um, and then you got to get in there and there's a nut that goes around it's threaded all the way in the prox. You break this free and you can adjust it and lock it back down. Um, I like this heart one because the jaws are really narrow. So you can get in there on that nut and actually break it free. And sometimes they're really sandwiched in there. And this works really well for that. Uh, just super cheap, just getting started. I haven't had to replace it yet. Then I got um, some of these hybrid pliers. So these are heart ones, but it's uh, kind of like a needle nose, but then also wide too. And these work really good for shipping wires. Um, they're working well for me, so once you know something happens to them, I'll replace them. But so far, so good. Uh, another Siemens screwdriver. So this one's even smaller. This one works for really tiny, like micro terminals. So you can, sometimes you gotta get in there, and even smaller ones. And this one's too big to get in there. It's a little bit size difference. I think this is like six mil, and this is like three mil somewhere in there. I got some glasses cleaner in case I need to clean my glasses. And then I got um, headphone charging. So I got aftershock phone conducting headphones, and I got the charger, a spare charger in here. I need to charge it up in the day, but if I'm working like a ten hour day or whatever, um, they'll last all day. It's when you get multiple days in the field sometimes I'll forget to charge them and that really bums me out so got the charger there I can charge it back up so in this web clocking here so this is not web but it's like um, it's plastic with like a texture um, nylon mesh also adhered to it so you, nothing's gonna fall out of here it's, um, it's pretty much reinforced I got a USB-C to USB-C in here um, and I can use this for my Craftsman charger and actually charge my phone or something off of it that lives in here. I got a digital angle gauge in here. So this works really well when you're working with robots. Uh, sometimes you need to train them to uh, be parallel with the floor or level to another surface. So this is magnetic so I can stick this on the robot uh, faceplate that you mount things to the tools. And I can angle that wherever I need to and teach uh, parallel to another surface or whatever I need to. This works really well for that. I highly recommend that. That's that pouch. And this pouch is kind of like backup stuff. So I got phone charger cable, phone charging brick. I got charging cable for the climb light. I have a multimedia card reader here. So I got several different drives or SD card versions I can read off of to my computer. That lives in there. And then that's got a, a phone charger for when I'm in a car or something. I need a backup one. I got one stash there. That pinches up that pocket. This top pocket, I have a box with all my USB sticks in here, and then a multi bank reader. So I can put all my USB sticks in there and into my computer with one if I need to. So I got smaller ones, big ones. Um, I found that these key shaped ones, so I got this as Siemens. These work really good for when you're putting in robot teach pendants. Sometimes they have molding around there and you can't get uh, one of these other ones, the shroud on here, actually interferes and you can't get it in the teach pendant. So if you have something that's exposed, kind of like these low profile ones or something similar, they work really well. So if you get something like that, hang on to it if you're dealing with robots. Um, and I got some smaller ones on here, some like micro looking ones. And those work really well. Um, then I also have a sand disk. I think this one, yep, sand disk, sand disk G drive. So these are one of their robust ones that's made to be water resistant, drop resistant to solid state, one terabyte drive. So this, I have a lot of projects backed up on here, and if I need to recover, like my computer goes down, I can recover files and regain where I'm at off of this. But it's um, you can use USB-C off of here so I can use USB to USB-C and transfer really fast to my computer and it works really well. Uh, this is really well, a good investment. I think it was like a couple hundred bucks but definitely worth it if you're looking for something solid state and robust. Um, I think that's really it. Um, so that's, carry, that's what I carry on a daily basis. So like I said, I carry this in and out of the office. Um, sometimes I have to go from the office to our shop floor and commission equipment there so then I'll break some of this stuff out depending on what I need um, a lot of times commissioning stuff you're just dealing with cables and communications getting stuff set up you have other people the trades working on it but when you're in the field and you got to fix something you know production is king right so if something's down um, you got to get it up fast that's where like these tools come in like you want to try to be as effective as you can in the field 
with the least amounts. Like this weight, you know, when you're carrying this around on you on a daily basis, it'll take a toll on your body. So if you can be incredibly effective with the least amount of weight, um, that's where like these multi-tools come in where you can pack a lot of punch with something this small. Uh, it's gonna carry its weight in gold, essentially, for you, make you more effective. That helps you do your job, helps you, uh, you know, and plus uh, impress the customer um, and then they're more likely to get more work from you later on too so it benefits everybody if you can be really effective at your jobs and this helps me be effective with all these tools so there's definitely more on my horizon um, so working towards expanding more and um, become you know finding more tools that are effective phasing out some of these ones that aren't as good um, and finding more stuff so if you want if you got suggestions, I'm more than open to it. Um, but I just want to show you what I got. And this is also for like me documenting where I'm at right now. And then I'll do more of these periodically as my toolkit changes. And I appreciate you guys listening. Thanks. All right, see you.